Nicaragua has finally made it to the World Baseball Classic, a country where baseball is king, a country that has produced 15 Major League Baseball players, yet they had never qualified for the WBC. In less than a week, they'll participate in the WBC for the first time. They first participated in a WBC qualifier in 2013, but left without a single win, beaten by Colombia 8-1 and by Panama 6-2. In the 2017 qualifier, they got a couple wins, both one-run wins, over Germany and the Czech Republic. But they could not keep up with Mexico. They lost to the Mexican team twice, by the scores of 11-0 and 12-1. Both ended in seven innings by mercy rule. In last fall's Pool B qualifier in Panama, they lost their opening match to Brazil 4-1. After that, they got a 12-0 mercy win over Pakistan, a narrow one-run win over Argentina, then a 3-1 win in a rematch with Brazil, to qualify for the 2023 WBC. Other than the WBC, they also took part in a qualifier for the 2020 Olympics. They got a win in extra innings over Puerto Rico, but lost to USA and Dominican Republic, the eventual silver and bronze medal winning teams, and were eliminated from the qualifier. For this WBC, they'll be in Pool D in Miami with Puerto Rico, Venezuela, Dominican Republic, and Israel. No one expects Nicaragua to advance. Most people have them finishing fourth or fifth, a win over Israel would be good, then they can avoid having to qualify for the next WBC. Even better would be an upset over one of the other three teams. Not only would that help them to finish higher in the pool, maybe even advance to the next round, but a win over DR, PR, or Venezuela would be historic for the Nicaraguan team. They've announced their starting rotation and here's who they've got. Erasmo Ramirez is the team's ace. He's been in MLB the last 11 years, used to be a full-time starting pitcher. Nowadays he throws mostly in relief. Last year with the Nationals, he made 60 appearances, only two of them starts, 86 innings with an ERA of 292 and a whip of 1077. J.C. Ramirez pitched in 142 Major League games from 2013 to 2019. He was a starting pitcher in 2017 with a 415 ERA and 11 wins. Other years he was in the bullpen, split the summer of 2021 between the Mexican League and the CPBL with a sub-4 ERA and 12 starts. In 2022, he was back at AAA St. Paul, where he had an ERA over 5 as a reliever. This winter in Venezuela, he was a starting pitcher once again, with an ERA of 399. Looks like he does better as a starting pitcher. 21-year-old Carlos Rodriguez is a promising young prospect. Last season, he reached high single A Wisconsin. 7 starts, 36 and a third innings, 45 strikeouts. ERA 198, whip 936. 27-year-old Ronald Madrano just signed with the Kansas City Royals a few weeks ago after another great season in the Nicaraguan Winter League. He made 7 starts and threw 43 innings with 57 strikeouts for a strikeouts per 9 rate of 11.8. ERA 228, whip 854. That is a solid rotation. We know Erasmo Ramirez can get Major League hitters out. He doesn't start much nowadays, but he started two games last year. We know he can still do it. J.C. Ramirez has experience as a Major League starter and more recently a good starter in Taiwan, Mexico, and Venezuela. Rodriguez is young and only reached high single A, but so far he's done nothing but good things. And Medrano dominated the Nicaraguan League last year, and may soon find himself at the major league level. But the starting pitchers will only take you halfway through a WBC game, so you need a good bullpen to follow. Here's what they've got. Jonathan Loisaga, in his fifth major league season, threw 48 innings in 50 games for the Yankees, struck out 37. ERA 413, WHIP 1292, and he's capable of doing even better. In 2021, his ERA was 217 in 70 innings. 28-year-old Kevin Gadea made two appearances in AAA for the Yankees in 2021, but in 2022 struggled at AA Binghamton in the Mets organization. 11 games, 15 and a third innings, 15 Ks, ERA 1174, WHIP 2.935. Maybe just a bad year, he spent most of 2021 in AA Somerset, recording a 2.97 ERA in 36 innings of relief. 23-year-old Nationals prospect Rodney Teofila played in single A last year. Good numbers at low single A Fredericksburg. 9 starts, 48 innings, 62 Ks, ERA 129, whip 884. But at high single A Wilmington, 12 starts, 53 innings, ERA 503. That's as a starting pitcher though, he'll be coming out of the bullpen in this tournament. 26-year-old lefty Leo Crawford played at AA Biloxi in 2021, 64 innings in 9 starts and 16 relief appearances, with an ERA of 492 and a 1344 whip. In 2022, he played independent ball at Tri-City, but struggled there. 
7 games, 38 innings, ERA 681. 25-year-old Roniel Raudis played at High Single A Salem for the Red Sox in 2017 and 2018, had a 367 ERA in 11 starts his last year there, but wasn't brought back. Now he's a reliever, last summer playing independent ball at York. He made 28 appearances, 29 innings, 35 strikeouts, ERA 182, whip 809. Osman Gutierrez reached high single-A Lansing in the Blue Jays system back in 2017. This winter he played a little in the Venezuelan League. 18 strikeouts in 15 and two-thirds innings, in three starts and one relief appearance. ERA 345, whip 1340. Left-hander Carlos Teller, now 36, is a former double-A San Francisco Giants prospect. Later played in the Mexican League for several years. This winter played in the Nicaraguan League. Eight games, 13 and two-thirds innings, ERA 329, WHIP 1244. Joaquin Acuna played rookie level for the Yankees back in 2013. This winter he threw five and two-thirds innings in Venezuela and allowed three runs. The rest of the time he was in Nicaragua, where he threw 11 and two-thirds innings of relief, with an ERA of 309, WHIP 1543. 32-year-old Junior Tellez has only played in the Nicaraguan League. In 2021 he appeared 17 times, 17 and a third innings, 16 gays and recorded 9 saves with an ERA of 312. Not quite so good in 2022. 17 games, 18 and 2 thirds innings, 14 strikeouts, 8 saves, ERA 434. 21 year old Duque Eber was a rookie in the Nicaraguan League this winter. 15 games, 20 innings, 18 strikeouts, ERA 540, whip 1300. Doesn't sound too good but he was better in the postseason. Fidencio Flores was a St. Louis Cardinals prospect 10 years ago, never made it past the rookie level. In the Nicaraguan League in 2022, he threw 12 innings and 14 appearances. ERA 825, WHIP 1917. So they've got a good rotation and a reliable major league reliever in Loisaga, but after that the bullpen doesn't look so good, especially when you consider the hitters they'll be facing in Pool D. It'll be important that they get the most out of their starting pitchers, and of course to hit the ball. In the outfield, they've got Juan Montes, a 27-year-old switch hitter. He played in the Orioles system until 2019. At single-A Aberdeen, he hit 258, 410, 323 in 14 games. Last summer, playing independent ball at Roswell, he stole 42 bases in 43 games, only caught four times, and slashed 405, 540, 685. This winter in Nicaragua, 31 games, 10 steals, 336, 486, 473. He almost exclusively plays in center. 27-year-old left-handed batter Isak Bernard was a single-A Rays prospect six years ago. Last summer he played independent ball at Gateway. 90 games, 409 plate appearances, 23 home runs, 316, 401, 596. This winter in Nicaragua, 31 games, 130 plate appearances, only two home runs, 232, 333, 333. He played mostly in center last year but can play left and right. Dwight Britton has been out of the Major League system since 2010 when he briefly reached AA West Tennessee in the Mariners system. This winter in Nicaragua, he only made 52 plate appearances in 20 games, slash 231, 404, 256. No homers, no steals. He only plays in left nowadays. Norlando Valle is a 28-year-old left-handed batter. The last two seasons in Nicaragua, he's played in 60 games with a line of 361, 439, 458, similar numbers in each season but only one home run and no stolen bases. He spends an equal amount of time in each outfield position. Sandy Bermudez played 31 games in Nicaragua this winter, 266, 365, 453 with three home runs. He almost always plays in left. Now to the infield, Chesler Cutbert played in MLB from 2015 to 2020, mostly for the Royals. He made over a thousand plate appearances with a career 250 average, 300 on base percentage. Played at AAA in 2021 and in the Nicaraguan League this winter. 31 games, 142 plate appearances, 4 home runs, 309, 394, 496. He only played at third this winter, but in past years spent just as much time at first, occasionally at second. 24 year old Brandon Layton, also goes by the name Steven, played at four different levels last summer, all the way from low single A to AAA in the red system. Across the four levels, he hit 250, 274, 471, with 11 home runs in 84 games. He plays at second, third, and short, most of the time at second in the minors, but in the winter in Nicaragua, played all games at short. 
23-year-old Elian Miranda played at High Single A Hillsboro for the Diamondbacks last summer. 24 games, 74 times at the plate. 130, 176, 261. In the winter in Nicaragua, 28 games, 103 plate appearances, 3 home runs, 345, 447, 500. Played mostly at first in the summer, at third in the winter. Milcar Perez is a 21-year-old switch hitter in the Mariners organization. Had a rough season in 2022. At single A Modesto, 54 games with a line of 145, 325, 168. He has played nothing but third in his three years in the minors. Ivan Myrin was a Braves rookie-level prospect for one year back in 2010, played independent ball for a few years in Lincoln, and now plays solely in Nicaragua. This winter he played in 30 games with 131 plate appearances and a line of 275, 415, 333. Played all games at short, played a little at second in the previous year. 25-year-old Benjamin Allegria played in the Dominican Summer League in 2015 and 2016 as part of the Reds organization. This winter in Nicaragua, 32 games, 139 plate appearances, 328, 404, 412. He spends equal time at second, third, and short. Willie Vasquez was a Yankees prospect 19 years ago. After that, he played nine years in the Italian League. This winter in Nicaragua, 31 games, 145 plate appearances, three homers, three steals, 314, 420, 512. Split time between first and second last year. At catcher, there's 26-year-old Melvin Novoa. He was a Rangers prospect from 2014 to 2021. In 2021 at AA Frisco, he slashed 310, 414, 583, with five home runs in 28 games. Good numbers, but he was let go after that. He played last summer in the Italian League, and this winter in Nicaragua. One more catcher, 22-year-old Rodolfo Bone, reached high single-A Eugene in the Giants system last year. In 33 games, his line was 158, 193, 246. This winter in Nicaragua, he hit six home runs in just 20 games, with a line of 268, 339, 625. And that's it. Most of their hitters have some experience in the major league system, but some of them have been out for quite a long time. The ones active in the minors mostly aren't doing very well, even at the lower levels. The Nicaraguan League is a decent level of competition, and they've got some of the best hitters, but the very best offensive players in that league last year came from abroad. I'd have to say this is the worst hitting team in Pool D, but their starting rotation will keep them competitive. Like I said before, if the starting pitchers get the job done and they don't need to dig deep into their bullpen, they can keep the scoring to a minimum. And their hitters, with experience in the Major League system and the Nicaraguan League, should be able to score a few runs. This team matches up well with Israel, and I give Nicaragua a 50% chance of beating Israel, avoiding the basement, and earning that automatic bid for the next WBC. But only a 5% chance they beat one of the other three teams. If they could pull that off, it would be a huge win for them, and make this a WBC to remember. But with their hitting and their bullpen, I'd say it's not likely. This is a 4th or 5th place team. But that's just what I think. Let me know what you think down in the comments. That's all for this one, and until next time, this is Baseball International. See ya.